Good day, students. My name is Mrs. Oludipe Odubolanle Oluremi. I am your mathematics teacher for this session. And the topic to be treated is Arithmetic of Finance Part 2. Lesson Objective. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to explain and find inflation and depreciation value of items. Enjoy the lesson. Arithmetic of Finance Part 2 In Part 1, we have treated simple and compound interests. Now, let us discuss inflation and depreciation. Inflation Inflation is an increase in the price level over time. Inflation decreases the real value of money, which is the value of money in people's pockets. When economists refer to inflation today, they are referring to a general increase in the level of prices of goods and services. So, they are really talking about price inflation. The reason why I stress that is because sometimes, or especially when the term inflation first came into usage, it usually was referring to monetary inflation or an increase in the money supply. So it was referring to an increase in the money supply. In inflation, Money constantly changes value. Have you ever had complaints about how prices rise? Inflation measures how much the cost of things rises. For example, here we can see how petrol prices have changed in Nigeria. Therefore, Inflation is also the percentage rise in price per year for the whole of an economy. Thus, we use the same formula as a compound interest. F is equal to P bracket 1 plus capital letter R over 100 raised to power small letter N, where F is inflation, P is principal, R is rate and N is time. Or F is equal to P bracket 1 plus small letter R raised to power of small letter N. F is inflation. P is principal. Small letter R is capital letter R over 100. Small letter N is time. Example 1. The cost of a new table is 1,050 Naira now. If the inflation rate is 5%, what will be the price in 2 years? Solution. F is equal to P bracket 1 plus capital letter R over 100 raised to power of small letter N. P is equal to 1,050 Naira. Capital letter R is equal to 5%, small letter N is equal to 2. F is equal to 1050, bracket 1 plus 5 over 100, raised to power of 2, which is equal to 1050, bracket 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to power of 2, which is equal to 1050, bracket 1 1.05 raised to power of 2 which is equal to 1050 bracket 1 1.1025, which is equal to 1157 Naira 625 copper, which is equal to 1157 Naira 63 copper. Let's go on a short break.
Welcome back. Example 2. A coin dealer bought a real coin for 120 naira and sold it 5 years later for 350 naira. The inflation rate has been a constant 4.5% over that time and the costs associated with the sale were 32 naira 50 kobo. A. What was the effective profit she has made? B. Find the percentage return at the time of sale for the coin dealer. Solution. A. F is equal to P brackets 1 plus R over 100 raised to power of N. P is equal to 120 naira. R is equal to 4.5%. N is equal to 5 f is equal to unknown f is equal to 120 bracket 1 plus 4.5 over 100 raised to power 5 which is equal to 120 bracket 1 plus 0 0.045 raised to power of 5 which is equal to 120 bracket 1.045 raised to power 5 which is equal to 120 bracket 1 1.24618 1938. F is equal to 149.54 Naira. That is real cost of coin in today's value. Sale proceed is equal to 350 Naira. Minus 32 naira 50 kobo, which is equal to 317 naira 50 kobo. Effective profit is equal to sale proceed minus inflation, which is equal to 317 naira 50 kobo minus 149 naira 50 ko four kobo, which is equal to 167 naira 96 kobo. B. Sale proceeds is equal to 317 naira 50 kobo. Effective profit is equal to 167 naira 96 kobo. Percentage return is equal to profit over real purchase price times 100. That is, effective profit over real purchase profit times 100. 167. 0.96 over 149.54 times 100, which is equal to 112.3% to one decimal place. Depreciation. Depreciation may be defined as a reduction in the value of fixed assets as a result of years, usage, and passage of time. Most of our possessions tend to wear out in the course of time and as a result, their values usually drop. The value of a used car, for instance, is less than that of a new car of the same make. Thus, fall in value caused by wear and tear over time is called depreciation. When the assets of a business are viewed, an allowance is made for the depreciation of items such as furniture, machinery, and other equipment. Some items depreciate more rapidly than others, and the amount of depreciation is usually expressed as a percentage rate per annum. The value of an asset at the end of a year and the calculation is similar to that compound interest. Note that goods lose value with time. This process is called depreciation and it is the loss of value of an object with time. Thus, we use the formula D is equal to C bracket 1 minus small letter R over 100 raised to the power of N, where D is the depreciation 
value, scrap value. C is the original cost of the assets. R is the rate of depreciation. N is the number of years lifespan of the asset. Meet you after the timeout. Welcome back. Example 1. Office equipment is originally valued at 40,000 Naira. The rate of depreciation is 5% per annum. Find to the nearest Naira its value after 4 years. Solution 4 year value is equal to 40,000 Naira. Depreciation is equal to minus 2,000 Naira. That is 40,000 Naira times 5 over 100 gives 2,000 Naira. Second year value is equal to 38,000 Naira. Depreciation is equal to minus 1,900 Naira. That is 38,000 Naira times 5 over 100 is equal to 1,900 Naira. Third year value is equal to 36,100 Naira. Depreciation is equal to minus 1,805 Naira. That is 36,100 Naira times 5 over 100 is equal to 1,805 Naira. Fourth year value is equal to 34,295 Naira. Depreciation is equal to minus 1,714 Naira 75 Kobo. That is 34,295 Naira times 5 over 100 is equal to 1,714 Naira 75 Kobo, which is equal to 32,518 Naira 25 Kobo, which is approximately to 32,580 Naira. Therefore, the value after four years is... 32,580 Naira to the nearest Naira. Solution to the same question above using formula. D is equal to C bracket 1 minus small letter R over 100 raised to power of N. Where C is equal to 40,000 Naira, R is equal to 5%, N is equal to 4 years. D is equal to 40,000 brackets 1 minus 5 over 100 raised to power of 4, which is equal to 40,000 brackets 1 minus 0 0.05 raised to power of 4, which is equal to 40,000 bracket 0 0.95 raised to power of 4 which is equal to 40,000 bracket 0 0.814500625, which is equal to 32,580 Naira 25 Kobo, which is equal to 32,580 Naira to the nearest Naira. References. A bicycle depreciates in value by about 15% each year. If Ronald bought a bicycle for 6,800 Naira in 1989, 
find the value three years later. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and remain blessed. Mm-hmm.